Today we will be discussing about Euler's theorem and its proof. Euler's theorem is a generalization of Fermat's theorem. Fermat's theorem in the previous videos here discussing with Nana. A raised to P minus 1 is congruent to 1 both in the Fermat's theorem in the result. But in the generalized version of Euler's theorem. So it states that for every A and N that are relatively prime, a raised to phi of n is congruent to 1 more n. For any numbers a and n we consider a that are relatively prime. Like the co-prime. We call a and n and g c d 1 and n. That is a and n latest common divisor 1 and n is relatively prime. So for two such numbers a and n, a raised to phi of n is congruent to 1 more n and n. Euler's theorem state n. If I of n and the number of last class the bar that is it is equivalent to the Euler's torsion function phi of n and it is defined as the number of positive integers less than n in related to n. Euler's torsion function the video in the correct defined on an exam problems on the how to calculate the value of phi of n. So Euler's theorem a raised to phi of n is congruent to 1 more n. In the other than an alternative form, a raised to phi of n plus 1 is congruent to a more n. So, this second formula is alternate formula. A is n relatively prime on the term and the other condition is relaxed. So, we must tell our relation satisfied. In the first case, a is n relatively prime on the term and a raised to phi of n is congruent to 1 more n on the relation through on the consideration. So in the alternate form, left dilum, right dilum, for a could add in that on the consideration that the equation modifies the rate of the rate of the So a raised to phi of n plus 1 more number added, 1 more i added. On the right side also, 1 more a added, that is a model. So now we will go into the proof. The Euler's theory of the proof is for lemma a base here, which is the lemma a base here. So lemma is the first thing we define here. That is let n greater than 1 and gcd of a n equal to 1. So n is a positive number. That is why a is a positive number. We will consider a n such that gcd of a and n equal to 1. So a and n and n and n greatest common divisor is 1. So for a positive number n, gcd of 1 now in the reveal, we are considering one number a also. Then we are identifying a1, a2, etc. up to a phi of n. The integers less than n and relatively prime to n. We will find the definition of the definition. Integers less than n and relatively prime to n. I will find the numbers in the n and n phi of n. I will find the numbers in the n and n. We will find the a1, a2, etc. up to a phi of n. We will find the n and positive number. We will find the n and g is 1 and n. We will find the n and n. Next, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we are identifying some numbers a1, a2, etc. to a5 of n. So, we अधिकांश नमले भी इन्दम रिपोर्टिंग सीरीज से जनरेट किया है। अब मैं इस तरह तेरे प्रोफ़ के पार्ना बोल रहा था ना ए इनटू ए वन, ए इनटू ए टू, एक्सेट्रा आप तो ए इनटू ए फाइव ऑफ़ में हमारे सीरीज से जनरेट किया है। तो ए वन ए टू नमले की टी, ए वन ए टू एक्सेट्रा आप तो ए फाइव ऑफ़ में हमा� हम लोगों ने पढ़ाया था देखो सीज़र है ना कि आप फाइंडिंग मोड लो एन मोड एन जी मो विल गेट द रिमेंडर्स इन द ऑर्डर ए वन ए टू एक्स चार्ट तू ए फाइव ओपन इन सम ऑर्डर ऑफ अदर तो ये जो लम्बे ये बीस में डालने में कुछ वर्ण दिए ये भी लम्बा नमक को हम लोगों को क्लियर आवाज़ में दी � one. Next, we are calculating the value of phi of n. So, by the letter numbers, we will consider the value of phi of n. So, we are calculating phi of n, that is phi of 4. 
5 formula is the same 5 of 2 raised to 2 raised to 2. So, 5 of p raised to k formula is the same relation. So, p is the k. So, we have to evaluate the ruler situation function evaluated in the equation. p raised to k into 1 minus 1 by p. So, 2 raised to 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2. So, 2 raised to 2 into 1 by 2. 4 into 1 by 2 that is equal to 2. So, 5 of n in the value of the value of 2 in the value of 2. In the value of 2. 4 is less than 2. That is not relatively prime. That is the number of the value of 2. The number of the value of the value of the value of a1 and a2. They are equal to 1 and 3. So, 1 model of 3 variable numbers is not really considered. 5 of n is considered. That is less than 4 and relatively prime to 4. 1, 2, 3 is considered. 1 to 4 would come to GCD 1. So, that is the first number I added. So, 2 to 4 would come to GCD 1. That is the number of 2. Next, 3 to 4 would come to GCD 1. So, GCD 3 is the third number A to I added. So, that is less than N and relatively prime to N. So, A1, A2 would come to GCD. The next term would come to find the series A into A1, A into A2, etc. A into A5 would come to GCD. So that is a1 a2 video and a number two zero three video. Next generate a into a1 and a into a2. Rather numbers and low are three number generating. First a is three, three into a1 is one. That is three into one equal to three. Then next a into a2. And a equal to three and a2 equal to three. So three into three is nine. Apo a into a1, a into a2, etc. A into five of n number generate a2. Then we are calculating modulo n. So 3 mod n and 9 mod n. And in the value that we are choosing to do 4 is not starting. So 3 mod 4 is 3 itself. 9 mod 4 is 4 into 2, 8 value remainder is 1. So we are getting values in the value that we are getting here. This A1 is 8 value. Our relation modulo n is the value of the remainder. So we got the values as a1, A2, etc. to A5 open in some order for other. In EOU relation, we have congruent side of the next sum. So that is, on the left side, we have to generate the series. So the index elements in the product. A into A1, A into A2, etc. to A into A5 open. Now, times we have to product on the left hand side. That is congruent to A1 into A2 into etc. to A5 open. In the meaning of the other side, the left side of the series of elements in the mode and jail variant, we will get the remainders A1, A2, etc. up to A4. That is the meaning. A into A1 in the mode and jail variant, we will get the remainders in the mode and jail variant. We will get the remainders in the mode and jail variant. In some order, we will get the remainders in the mode and jail variant. Here, we will get the common item elements in the mode and jail variant. So, A and A will get the same. A occurs at the rash medium 5 n times over. So, A raised to 5 of n common item of the data into A1 into A2 index of the top to A5 of n. That is congruent to right hand side of the change of the A1 into A2 index of the top to A5 of n model. In A terms, we have identical terms on the A1 into A2 index of the top to A5 of n is identical. Left side of the right side of the those two terms cancel and the result is A raised to 5 of n is congruent to 1 or n. So this is the Euler's theorem. So the Euler's theorem is based on the lemma. The lemma is based on the lemma. We have n or a positive number of answers. We have n or a positive number of answers. We have n or a positive number of answers. Then we are identifying the numbers. A1, A2, etc. to A5 of n. Then generating the series a into a1, a into a2, etc. to a into a5 of n, taking modulo n, and we will get the remainders a1 into a2, etc. to a5 of n in some order or other. In E relation on the congruent side of the person, we will get the result. That's all of Euler's theorem. So, we will see the proof on the parallel. Palemma state is clearly 